This is the BBC Home Service. Choral Evensong is sung today by the choir of New College, Oxford, under the direction of their organist, A. Meredith Davies. The canticles are sung to the setting Howells in G, and the anthem is Justorum Anime by Bird. The Lord our God belong mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws which he set before us. Wherefore I pray and beseech you to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have earned and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much to the vices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, and hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips. And the world shall show forth. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning,
Job beginneth the eleventh verse of the twenty-ninth chapter of the book of Job. When the ear heard me, then it blessed me, and when the eye saw me, it gave witness to me, because I delivered the poor that cried, and the fatherless, and him that had none to help him. The blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me, and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. I put on righteousness, and it clothed me. My judgment was as a robe and a diadem. I was eyes to the blind, and feet was I to the lame. I was the father to the poor, and the cause which I knew not, I searched out. Here endeth the first lesson.
begin at the 32nd verse of the fourth chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them, and brought the prices of the things that were sold, and laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And Joseph, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is, being interpreted, the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. Here endeth the second lesson.
didst endue thy holy apostle Barnabas with singular gifts of the Holy Ghost. Leave us not, we beseech thee, destitute of thy manifold gifts, nor yet of grace to use them all way to thy honour and glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works to proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who hast created us to be immortal and hast made us an image of thine own eternity, lift our eyes, we pray thee, above the narrow horizons of this present world, that we may behold the things eternal in the heavens, wherein is laid up for us an inheritance that fadeth not away, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O eternal God, who hast made all things subject to man, and man for thy glory, sanctify our souls and bodies, our thoughts and our intentions, our words and actions, that whatsoever we shall think or speak or do may be by us designed for the glory of thy name. Let no pride or self-seeking, no covetousness or revenge, no mean ambitions or low imaginations desecrate what thou hast hallowed. But let our body be the servant of our spirit, and both body and spirit servants of thee, that doing all things for thy glory here, we may be partakers of thy glory hereafter, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose we are and whom we serve, keep us ever in thy faith and fear, and in obedience to thy commandments, confident that, being thine, none can pluck us out of thy hand, and fearing thee, none can make us afraid, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the giver of all good things, without whose help all labour is ineffectual, and without whose grace all wisdom is folly, grant, we beseech thee, in all our undertakings, thy Holy Spirit be not withheld from us, but that we may promote thy glory and the salvation both of ourselves and others, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lift up our hearts, O Christ, above the false shows of things, above laziness and fear, above selfishness and covetousness, above custom and fashion, up to the everlasting truth that thou art, that so we may live in the faith that thou art our King and our Saviour, our example and our judge, and that, so long as we are loyal to thee, all will be well with us in this world and in the world to come, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit thou livest and reignest, one God, world without end. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.
Choral Evensong was sung today by the choir of New College, Oxford.